Redivus has introduced a new mobile radio, the MA1. It is a full duplex color screen mobile radio, dual band. We're going to take a look at it right now. Shout out to Redivus for sending me this radio. This is a cool new radio. You might have seen it on YouTube a couple of other places. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one. And quite frankly, this thing looks a lot like a Kenwood V71, except with a different, better color screen. I'll show you guys the color screen here in a minute. Inside of the box, you've got a separation cable here. Got a really nifty manual. You can kind of see the color screen, the reds and blues and greens on the on the picture in front of the manual right there, but I'm going to show you the actual radio here in a second. It's a pretty good manual with it here. Comes with the mounting bracket, unlike some manufacturers do. And it comes with a programming cable, which has USB-C on this end. So regular standard USB on this end, USB-C on the other end. And that goes into the side. This is an external speaker right here. I think the programming cable goes... Where does it go? I forgot. <laughs> I already forgot where it was. has a separatable head. Oh, it's right there. I thought I, I, was, right, I was right the first time. Okay, it's a little tricky to get this off. you got to kind of put your thumbnail underneath it there. And then this pops off like that. It is connected from the side there. Probably kind of hard to see in the picture or in the camera. But it's connected at the top left corner there. And then if you move this out of the way, you've got external speaker. You've got two external speaker jacks right there. If you can see it. Gosh, that's it really in the way. And then the USB-C right there. Today's video is sponsored by Mezzi and Poloni Coax, which is what I use all throughout the ham shack. My antennas in the shack, my HF antenna, my VHF, UHF antenna, when it's up, all run Mezzi and Poloni Coax. This is their Evo connector on the end here. You can save a 10% discount off of all of their items at the link in the description below with the coupon code of HR2Cables. So go check that out and thank them for sponsoring this channel. This is... The screen of the radio here, I've got my Astron 50 amp power supply at the bottom. And on top of that is the WM1010D uh, SWR and, and power meter from Intellitron. I'll put links to those in the description below. So we're going to power this radio on. I've got it connected to a dummy load right now. And there's the screen of the radio. I'll move the camera up just a touch so you can see that a little bit better. There we go right there. This is the microphone. The red of this microphone there. It's got buttons on it right there. We've got a lock button there. And this is, I'm not sure what that does. It, does, it looks like a zero there. Full keypad, A, B, C, D down the left-hand side there, or down the right-hand side, rather. And then the up-down buttons on top. Kind of a weird... Not a real microphone connector there, so you're going to have to hang it somewhere. But we're going to connect it to the to the faceplate over here to see how this works. Now, yeah, there we go. Okay, that is working. We're in memory mode right there. So we got VFO right there, and then MR is memory mode. That's memory mode right there. VFO on the left. This is the left two buttons. That was power, obviously. This one here. All right, volume is uh, over here. This is a channel selector. You can manually do it. That opens the squelch. The sim but button here opens the squelch, as you would expect. Okay. There's two knobs there, if you can see it. That's a volume knob for left and right band. And then behind it is uh, a second knob for squelch for left and right band. So completely independent left and right band volumes. That's odd. A little slow to respond on that. If I turn it. Okay, now it's kind of working. All right, before it kind of lagged behind, I would turn it and then you would hear it like a half second later. All right, let's change that one. Okay, that seems to work. I thought there was a, a bit of a lag there. So we're going to go into, and you see that your PTT button is right there. PTT button is on the left right there. So we're on the left band right there. And I suspect, yep, 
if you put press in on these that's how you switch ba well that's one way to switch bands okay so on the microphone you switch bands with the a b button which is also the d button like that the middle button down here the zero button is mute you can see it's muted on the screen right now on the right side turn the mute off you can go up down through the menus through the channels of the radio with the up down buttons right here you can also do that with the top buttons so there's two different ways to go up and down through the menu okay so that's a VF the B knob the B button is a VFO the C button is memory that's what it says on the on the uh, on the microphone there and then a is exit oh a is enter rather I'm sorry a is enter so now I can click enter and I can click like that but it's gonna go but we're in memory mode so we're gonna go to VFO mode I'm gonna click enter 442.900 is a local repeater and on 442.900 we're doing about 36 watts that's pretty good right there. Now I'm going to go enter 146.52. That's a lot easier. That's really fast and quick and easy to do that. Ooh, right at 50 watts. Wow, look at that. 50 watts on 146.52. I like it. Very cool. We're into a dummy load right now. I'll ID KC5HWB. You don't have to ID because I'm going into a dummy load. But to get into the menu, we've got uh, control band low that'll change your power low power on 146.52 looks like it's doing around just under 5 watts now it's mid 2 oh it's got okay it's got 4 power settings 19 watts no low mid 2 and high usually when you see a mid 2 like that there's a mid 1 and mid 2 so I don't know why it says mid 2 but we're doing 19 watts on mid power and we're doing 50 watts on high power so that's that's a good balance between 5 uh, 19 and 50 watts okay good and if we go back to let's just go to 441 and on high power we're doing 30 almost 35 watts on 440 low power three and a half watts and mid two which is the mid power we're doing about 16 watts on 440 there you go right there okay I don't find that to be very intuitive I had to look in the manual to find this but in order to get into the menu press function and that's flashing right there the channel number is flashing and then we press this knob right here and that's our menu so now we're menu zero is beep looks like it's got about ha, 999 menus I bet there's not that many I bet it skips some. Oh, yeah, okay. So menu zero is beep. Menu one is uh, beep volume. Oh, you can change the volume of the beep. So we can have a low volume beep. And then it jumps to 101. Step is 12.5. We're going to change that to 2.5. Okay, it's got an 8.33 kilohertz step. So air band. I don't know if it will receive AM or not, but that's the generally what you're looking for there. We're going to go down to, it'll go to 100 kilohertz. 50 30 25k okay it goes to 2.5k that's the lowest it goes that's usually where i like to keep mine modulation is fm oh okay it does do am so you can do aircraft receive with this because you can go to am and go to the 8.33 kilohertz offset and you can set yourself some aircraft frequencies to monitor i doubt it's going to transmit there but we can check that uh, busy shift is off timeout timer memory name now we're up to the 200s 300s offset okay yeah so 0 0.6 that's the two meter offset aro now we're up to 400 repeater mod is cross okay so we're in cross band repeat mode a atx and btx okay good repeater hold so we've got, and it jumps to 500. It's not going in sequence order. So the numbers that you're seeing right here are strange because it's skipping around a lot. So two-tone and five-tone, it's got good speaker, screen, SCR, I'm not sure what that is. SPK, I would think that that's, okay, that doesn't change anything. This is all Vox, pass WD pass reset okay so that's where that is 
press function to get back out of that. All right, if I wanted to set a simple channel, okay? So I'm in VFO mode right now. You can tell because there's no channel number at the top right there. So I'm going to go enter 442900. That's a local repeater towards me, uh, to me. I'm going to hit tone, and we're going to go... I'm going to turn that. You can turn the tone on, CT, DCS for digital, and the, that turns it off. So I'm going to hold the tone. And that doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm guessing here. I could read the manual, but where's the fun in that? All right, it's not very intuitive here either because it calls it something different. So if we go into the menu and run up to like 605, let's go up here. So this menu right here, RX sub M is the receive CTCSS DSS mode. RX sub F is uh, receive CTC, uh, CTCSS DSS tone. So one is the mode, that's the moan, mode, and that's the tone, and that's receive. So transmit, you see it's on mode CTCSS right now, and we can change it to DCS, DCS receive, and turn it off. There we go. And then transmit tone, change here. And 110.9 is where that repeater is there. Now, you can also turn the tone off and on with this button right here. But you can't, you, you tur turn the tone off and on, but you can't set the tone. So now, I need to set the offset. And, okay, there's offset right there. Offset is set to 7, uh, so menu 400 is offset. We're going to change that to 5 megahertz. I don't know why it's 7.6, that's weird something in another foreign country I would expect. Offset, and then offset is 5 megahertz. Repeater mode is crossband. Okay, it took it. this is not very intuitive at all, but it took a second for me. To, I read through the manual. If we go here to auto, ARO is auto repeater offset, and that was off. So I turned that on. It was off. So once that is on, we see that the plus symbol exists on each one. And now I'm on the 2 meter band, and it's offset to 0 0.6 megahertz, and I go to the 440 band, which you saw me set a minute ago, and it's offset to 5.0 megahertz. So there we go. So you can turn on auto repeater offset, and it automatically knows where to go. If we go back, see it's, it's a positive offset over here right now, 147.100 which there's a local repeater that's on that frequency. Of course, we're going into a dummy load right now. But now if I change this right here, and I say 146, 210. It's still a plus there. Let's see. If I change it to 145, 210, then you can see it changed from a plus to a minus, and now we're at a minus offset. So there we are right there. So it does have the auto offset feature. Unlike some of your Chinese radios which don't offer that, there is that auto offset feature right there. So pretty good. Um, and it, again, it's not really intuitive in my opinion, but the manual is good. So not intuitive, but the manual is pretty good. It calls the uh, transmit and receive CTCSS. It calls it a different menu than I've seen before, but... You know, once you once you kind of figure it out, it's not a big deal. So tell me if you guys have seen this radio separation kit here. I'm thinking about if, I'm wondering if the Armalock rails for a V71 will fit this radio, which I don't have. I don't have, I have a V71, but I don't have the Armalock rails for a V71. But this would be a really good go kit radio for someone if you wanted to put it in a bag and go out somewhere. Uh, low cost alternative. I'll put a link to this in the description below from Redivus. Again, they sent me this radio, so I appreciate their time and effort into sending this to me. I'm looking forward to using this. I think I might put it in the truck and see what it sounds like on the road. I don't have an external antenna up right now. I took my antenna down. There were some storms coming through the area, and I'm like, you know, I need to change some stuff anyway, so I don't have an external VHF, UHF antenna up right now. I have HF up, but no VHF, UHF right now so might take this out plug it up into the truck take it on a road trip see what it looks like and go from there uh, check the links in the description below guys thanks for watching today